Hey traders and welcome to my channel. If you're new to heat map analysis you're in the right place. In this guide I'm breaking down exactly what a heat map is, why it can give you a significant edge over traditional trading methods, and most importantly, how you can start using it to make smarter trading decisions today. What is a heat map in trading? A heat map in trading is a type of visual chart that displays market activity using colors. Hot colors usually represent strong trading activity or high values, while cold colors show weaker activity. Some heat maps also visualize the order book depth, showing where buy and sell orders cluster, as well as potential support and resistance levels. Advantages of heat maps compared to traditional trading. 1. Clear visualization. Instead of looking at raw numbers or just candlestick charts, traders can quickly spot hot zones where the market is highly active. Saves analysis time and helps make faster decisions. 2. Market sentiment insight. Heat maps reveal where liquidity and pending orders are concentrated, letting traders know which price levels are strongly defended. Provides clues about where smart money is flowing. 3. Better forecasting ability. Unusual activity zones in the heat map often signal breakouts or trend reversals. Gives traders an extra layer of confirmation beyond traditional technical analysis. 4. Improved risk management. Traders can place stop loss and take profit levels at low liquidity zones to avoid stop hunts. Supports more effective risk management strategies. 5. Multi time frame support. Heat maps allow traders to track both short term liquidity flows and long term trends. Useful for scalpers, day traders, and swing traders alike. In short, a heat map acts like a market activity map that helps traders see where money is flowing, enabling faster, more accurate, and less emotional decision making compared to traditional trading based only on charts or news. To provide deeper insight, let me briefly explain the functions and roles of the orders you see on the heat map. In a heat map, liquidity walls play a crucial role. They act as dynamic support and resistance, with thick walls indicating strong clusters of buy or sell orders. These zones reflect market psychology, where many participants are either defending a price level or looking to take profit. Liquidity walls also help anticipate order flow. When price approaches a wall, it may bounce off or if the wall is absorbed, the price often accelerates strongly through that level. In this sense, liquidity walls can function as both magnets that attract price and barriers that block price movement. The bubbles displayed on the heat map represent confirmed market orders that have been executed. Larger bubbles indicate a significant volume of orders, reflecting strong market participation, while smaller bubbles suggest market weakening with lower order flow. In addition to the red and green bubble visualization, you can also interpret market activity through the volume column, high volume corresponds to larger bubbles, whereas low volume aligns with smaller ones. The CVD line in trading, short for cumulative volume delta, is an order flow indicator used to measure actual buying and selling pressure, specifically, the difference between volume traded at the ask price and volume traded at the bid price, accumulated over time. If you're accustomed to using RSI to spot divergences, you'll likely find CVD divergence to be significantly more effective in identifying true market intent. Session Volume Profile is an analytical tool that visualizes the distribution of traded volume at each price level within a specific trading session. What does SVP show? It provides a detailed view of how trading volume is distributed throughout a session, such as the Asian, European, or US session, or any custom-defined time frame. SVP typically includes two columns representing the sell side and the buy side, displaying the number of contracts executed at each price level. For example, if at a certain price level there are 394 contracts executed on the sell side and 490 contracts executed on the buy side, this indicates that buyers are exerting greater control at that level. Current quote count displays the number of resting limit orders at each price level in the order book, on both the bid and ask sides. It reflects the real-time liquidity available at each price point. Importantly, it also accounts for liquidity being added or removed, providing dynamic insight into evolving market conditions. CQC can be interpreted as a market confidence indicator, showing the willingness of participants to provide liquidity at specific levels. For example, if there are 1,161 buy orders resting at a certain level, while 2,772 sell orders are stacked on the opposite side, it means that sell-side liquidity exceeds buy-side liquidity by 1,611 contracts. 
this imbalance may indicate strong selling pressure at that price level. Regarding iceberg orders, an iceberg is a type of limit order in which only a portion of the total volume is displayed on the order book, while the remaining size remains hidden and is gradually exposed as the visible tip gets filled. The goal is to execute large orders without revealing full intent, thereby minimizing market impact. On the bookmap interface, there are three types of iceberg order visualizations. 1. Mountain-shaped icons. 2. Blue-colored markers. 3. Pulse signals shown at the bottom of the screen. For both the mountain-shaped and blue-colored indicators, I have set the display threshold at 50 contracts. Only orders meeting or exceeding this size will be shown. In contrast, the pulse signal visualization can detect even the smallest iceberg orders. However, small iceberg orders tend to be reliable only during low-activity trading sessions, such as the Asian session. To identify larger and more significant iceberg activity, it's more effective to monitor high-volume sessions like the U.S. session. In terms of visual representation, four mountain-shaped and blue-colored icons, sell-side liquidity appears above the bubble, and buy-side liquidity appears below the bubble. Four pulse signals, buy-side orders are shown at the bottom of the screen, while sell-side orders are shown at the top. About sweep orders. By sweep. A buy sweep is a large market buy order typically placed by traders who want to enter a position immediately, without waiting for lower price sell orders to be filled. Instead of placing a limit order and waiting for execution at a better price, the sweep order aggressively sweeps through multiple levels of available sell side liquidity, executing at the best available prices on the market. Sell sweep. Conversely, a sell sweep is a large market sell order executed immediately, sweeping through multiple buy levels at lower prices. Rather than waiting for individual buy orders to be filled at specific levels, the trader prioritizes speed over price, instantly selling into available market liquidity. Both types of sweep orders signal urgency and strong intent behind the trade. They are often associated with institutional-sized orders and can cause sharp, short-term price movements due to their aggressive nature. Typically, traders may consider trading in the opposite direction of a sweep order, as these actions often lead to temporary price dislocations. About lift ask and hit bid orders. Lift ask. A lift ask occurs when a buy order lifts the ask price, meaning a market participant accepts the current ask and executes a trade at that price. In other words, a trader is willing to pay the seller's asking price to complete the purchase immediately. This action may indicate bullish intent, as the buyer is prioritizing execution over price signaling a sense of urgency or strong buying interest. When a lift ask occurs, Bookmap registers the event and can display it visually as a signal on the chart. Hit bid. A hit bid happens when a sell order is executed at the current bid price. The seller hits the bid accepting the buyer's price to sell immediately. This behavior often reflects bearish sentiment, showing that the seller is eager to exit the position, even at a lower price, demonstrating urgency or downward pressure. Bookmap also tracks and displays these actions as visual signals on the chart. In Bookmap, lift ask and hit bid signals provide valuable insights into real-time market behavior. When an ask price is lifted or a bid is hit, it reveals actual buyer or seller aggression, which may signal a shift in supply and demand. Recognizing these signals can help traders make more informed, timely decisions. About stop runs. A stop run refers to the event when a specific price level is breached, triggering a cascade of stop-loss orders from market participants. This typically occurs when price breaks through key support or resistance levels, resulting in a sudden surge of buy or sell orders that can drive significant price movement. When these stop orders are activated, they inject a burst of liquidity into the market. If a large enough cluster of stops is triggered, it can cause a sharp price spike or drop, commonly referred to as a liquidity sweep. And this is the absorption order. By absorption occurs when a large number of aggressive market buy orders are executed at a specific price level, yet the price fails to move higher. This indicates that a substantial volume of limit sell orders is absorbing the buying pressure at that level. A sign that sellers are in control, despite the presence of strong buying activity. As for sell absorption, occurs when a large number of aggressive market sell orders are executed at a certain price level, but the price fails to move lower. This means there is a significant concentration of limit by orders actively absorbing the selling pressure. A sign that buyers are in control, 
despite the presence of strong selling activity. Also if volume spikes appear, high volume to break the market, it is known as exhaustion. Volume spikes indicate significant rapid market movements where high volume is traded in a very short time. When volume spikes happen in liquidity, it can signify a counter movement of the market. Thank you for watching. Please give me a like, share this video and subscribe to the channel. In the next video, I'll show you how to enter trades based on key market events.